No need to break out your N64 in this video because we will be reviewing James Bond Goldeneye for the Wii. Yes, we're going to be talking about James Bond Goldeneye for the Wii. Uh, Goldeneye originally came out on the N64, but they revamped it, put it on the Wii. Now, we're going to talk about, uh, of course, Goldeneye is based off of the film. If you've never seen the film, go watch the film. Uh, if you've never seen the film, it doesn't really affect the gameplay for either of these two, but it makes a lot more sense if you go see the film. Um, Gold, uh, Activision could not get the licensing to use Pierce Brosnan in this game, so they've used Daniel Craig as the James Bond in this game. That's the major change in this game. And a lot of people aren't, don't like it, but I like it because Daniel Craig's style of Bond is more action-oriented versus uh, Pierce Brosnan, who's like a ladies' man. So yeah, I think Daniel Craig makes a better James Bond for this game because, you know, GoldenEye is, is made to be more action-oriented, you know, in my opinion. Alright, uh, let's, before I go any further into the game, let's talk about the ways to play GoldenEye. You can play with the Wiimote Nunchuck option, which, you know, is standard for all Wii games. You can play with the Wii Zapper, which I don't really, um, like, I, I don't have a Wii Zapper, so I can't tell you how the Wii Zapper works with this game. I'm not going out and buying a Wii Zapper, because I don't have any other games that would be compatible with it. I'm not going out and spending money on a Wii Zapper. You can play with the GameCube controller, but you... You can play with the GameCube controller. Pause. I can do my grammar correctly today. And you, they also have an option where you can buy just the game, or you can buy the bundle pack, which is the game and the classic controller. The classic gold controller. This thing is killer. I love this. Of course, as you know, Golden Gun was uh, one of the really cool guns in James Bond. It was a one-hit kill gun. And uh, this is a really cool option because... It's made to look like the N64 controller, kind of, sort of. Uh, the N64 controller had these two little side things here, and, you know, it just it's, it, it feels like the N64 controller when you hold it. doesn't look like it, though, because the N64 controller had just one button down here, one analog stick. But this is a really cool controller. So I wanted to buy the controller for it. This is awesome controller. All right, let's talk about what's in the game now. Um, in the game... There's a lot of fun in this game. Um, not really much to talk about in solo player mode, but in solo player mode, you go through all the levels, you you know, uh, go through the storyline. It's really cool. There's a variety of guns in here, too. A bunch of guns. Um, these guns are really sweet in this game. Of course, they also have um, all different types of guns. They've renamed some of the guns, uh, like the AK-47 was the uh, DK-47, I think, in the original game, um, so they've up, they've changed some of the names of the guns to make them more modern. Uh, let's see, not really much to talk about in, multi, in uh, solo player, because, um, you know, you just go through, play through, shoot guys, you know, uh, go through the storyline, all that good stuff. We're talking more about multiplayer, where they put most of their time into this game. Solo player mode is good, don't get me wrong, but multiplayer is where this game shines, because the original GoldenEye was the first game to really use multiplayer. I mean, it's the best multiplayer shoot 'em up game was GoldenEye ever. Uh, a lot of people on the internet and a lot of game critics and all that say that it was the best multiplayer game because it had the four, four player split screen, which a lot of people really liked. And this game does not disappoint in multiplayer. It brings back the four player split screen if you do multiplayer. Um, in this game, you can also do online play over the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, which I was doing that last night, and I had I had a really fun time doing that. This, this, a multiplayer or online multiplayer does not disappoint in this game. You go and you have like nine, I think it's nine different modes to um, to play, and you are and you can uh, like play Golden Gun where you just have the Golden Gun. You can play Golden Eye mode, which no one was online when I played Golden Eye mode. Uh, but what it is, uh, according to the description, is you are 
playing this game where you have these different consoles and you have to go hack them, hack the other team's console to make the GoldenEye satellite shoot on their uh, base, which is pretty cool. I never, I didn't get to play it. No one was online when I wanted to play it. Stupid people. But, yeah. Uh, according to the back of this mode, there's 17 modifiers, including classics like paintball mode is in here. And uh, over 200 split screen combinations plus online multiplayer of up to 8 players, which is pretty cool. Uh, when I was, you know, there was some pretty good online multiplayers last night. I mean, people who were playing online were better than me. Uh, now, this one dude was hiding in a corner, and I could never find him, and he just kept shooting everyone. It was, he was, he hid pretty well. No one found him the whole game. Lucky little. Mm. All right, and also, when you play multiplayer, you can play with um, eight classic Bond characters, such as Odd Job and Jaws. Um, I haven't, I don't have anybody to play multiplayer with right now, so I couldn't, I can't do the multiplayer option, so, um, you know, I didn't get to play with any of the classic Bond villains or do paintball mode or anything like that, but, uh, Goldeneye, uh, basically nothing more to say about it, uh, of course there's cheat codes, because in the original Goldeneye, that was one of the things that made this game shine, was the cheat code options, this game does not disappoint either, Goldeneye has a variety of cheat codes you can enter in. Uh, I don't know any of them, so I can't spoil spoiler alert any of them. But, um, yeah, some of the games, uh, there's some great cheat codes for this game. So that's Goldeneye. Uh, if I had to do a buy, rent, or skip, I have to say this is, this is one of the hot games this season. It's a game everyone was looking forward to. I have to say uh, it's, definitely worth a, it's definitely worth a buy. I mean, go out and buy it. Uh, you can buy it, I said, one of two ways, with just the game or with the game and controller combination. Um, it's up to you which one you buy. I like the gold controller myself, but you can just certainly buy the game alone. So that's GoldenEye. I give it uh, five, I, I give it uh, a rent, or I'm sorry, a buy, go out and buy it. And for the um, amount of stars I give it, I got to give it five star, or five Wiimotes out of five because of the fact that it brings classic it brings multiplayer back to its roots. And the storyline is just very um, involving. If you've never played GoldenEye before, it's a great chance to get devolved into it. If you've played the N64 version, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm not disappointed with this version compared to this one. They both are pretty good. So, um, buy GoldenEye. It's a great game. That's GoldenEye. That's my review of it. I say buy it. Bye, bye, bye.